Microsoft has officially unveiled the X1S All Digital Edition, a discless version of the company's current generation console priced at $50, less than the regular X1S. The big reveal came during an Inside X stream today, and the X team says that the All Digital System means to become the most affordable way to play X1 games. The X1S All Digital is set to retail at $299, making it roughly $50 cheaper than the regular X1S. Beyond that, Microsoft says it plans to maintain at least that $50 price difference throughout the console's lifespan, meaning that if the sale drops the price of the 1S, the all digital price will decrease as well. Other than the lack of a disk drive, the all digital has the exact same inner workings as the regular X1S. The 1TB system is set to launch on May 7th and will include a 3 games Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Forza Horizon 3 right out of the box. Game developers conference organizers are delighted to announce the films selected to be part of the 2019 DD Film Festival, one of the only narrative film fests focused on the art and culture of video games. The second annual DD Film Festival will take place at the YRB Abunis Center for the Arts, screening room directly adjacent to the Moscow Play Center from Monday, March 18th to Wednesday, March 20th. During the day 2019, sponsored by Steam for the second year running, all screenings will be open to all the day 2000 and 90 impact holders on a first come, first served basis across the three days wide range of documentaries and other filmed material based around the video game medium will be screened. Some for the very first time. The festival will include on-stage calls with filmmakers and game producer designer and journalist Matthew Kumar. Sound Shapes, Indivisible, will be making the festival and co-programming the future the films. Without further ado, here's a look at the selected films. Please note that all show times are Pacific Standard. 下午两点十分. Title, We Are Alright, directed by or Isney Pilek, after quitting their corporate jobs, Bartek and Rifle decided to create their first video game, Lickspear. The movie follows them throughout the last few months of working on the project. You will be able to witness their struggle to publish the game on PlayStation, the emotions of people associated with the game's launch, and finally, Rifle's and Bartek's. Attempts to break into the consciousness of youthful stars and the industry press. 下午四点四十分. Title, Ad Band Flow, directed by Akapeu, game creator Scott Suruhashino, Persona 5, Tetsu Amizuguchi, Res, Infinite, Toshiki Hiro Nagoshi, Yakuza 6, Koshi Nakanishi, Resident Evil 7, Yuya Tokuro, Monster Hunter, World, Keiichiro Toyama, Gravity Rage 2, Fumihiko Yasuke, Neo, Yoko Taro, Ear, Automata, in addition to a tier 4, Est on Richard, shared their views on the quick succession of critically acclaimed Japanese games that started in 2016, and on the state of the Japanese game industry. Title, Toko Toko Akira, Hakimen, Yasudo. Illustrator, directed by Akapeu, known as the father of Chen Li, Agayu, Okira, Akiman, Yasuda is an illustrator and character designer who stands on a 30 year long career in the game and animation industry. Then, as a freelance illustrator, will dive into his career at Capcom from the Street Fighter series, Final Fight, A Dark Stalkers, among other classics. Up until the first days of the Red Dead franchise, this short documentary was made as part of the Toko Toko series, named after the sound of footsteps in Japanese. 
following Japanese artists to the places that inspired them. 晚上七点半 Title: Playing Hard, directed by J. Simon Chatter. Inside the world's biggest video game studio, Ubisoft, a constantly growing team works on the creation of Far Honor, a game that stages an epic battle between Vikings, knights, and samurai. Like the game's characters, the main creators will face adversity that will highly impact their personal lives up to the breaking point, with access like never before. Playing hard shows. Why the fastest-growing entertainment industry is more than just a game. 下午两点十分 Title: Alice Played World Premiere, directed by Duncan Robinson. This is your chance to see for the first time anywhere an hour-long preview of a planned four-hour supercut of video game timepieces, shown in sync with the actual time, inspired by Christian Markley's The Clock. 下午四点四十分。Title: Unforeseen Consequences, Uncovering the Legacy of Half-Life, directed by Alphip. What happens when one of the most revolutionary series in video games suddenly goes dark? To celebrate its 10th anniversary, Nautilus hits the road to investigate the legacy of Half-Life and the incredible community working to keep the dream alive. 晚上七点半。Title: Game Changers: Dreams of BlizzCon, directed by John Keating. Game Changers: Dreams of BlizzCon enters the unexplored realm of professional sports, as told through the eyes of two of the world's best StarCraft II players, together with striking visuals and the mesmerizing original score. Go behind the scenes and experience the high pressure. High stakes lifestyle of professional esports. 下午两点整 Title: The name of the game. Directed by Pote Vogel Jarno Bellonin. The name of the game follows the team up between the legendary arcade game designer Eugene Jarvis and the Finnish game developer Hosmarqe on their three-year struggle to create a spiritual successor to Eugene's smash hit from the. ATS Robot Run. 下午四点四十分 Title: The Artists, The Untold Stories of the Pioneers Behind the Pixels. Directed by Peter Mishra. The Artists is a deep dive documentary into the first three decades of video game history through the lens of the designers, developers, and programmers that laid the groundwork to redefine pop culture as we know it. The doc approaches specific games from this era as one would explore a seminal film for a massive audience. Video games are films of the 21st century. Their primary source for storytelling. How did that happen? An energetic, entertaining account of this stunning artistic and business success story. The artists is the saga of how the games from this pixel pioneers. Became such an influential cultural force. Bring your team to GD. Register a group of ten or more and save ten percent on conference passes. Learn more at GRE. For more details, O N G D C 2000. On Monday, visit the show's official website. Or subscribe to regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, Oz, Gadot Social, and GD as sibling organizations. Under parent company Informa, the Gunnar Sutri Job Board is the most diverse, active, and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location: Chicago, Illinois. This belief is a game development studio focusing on contracting and consulting services. We have worked with both AAA and independent studios to help their projects ship. Notable projects we have worked on include Gears of Warfare, Borderlands, The Handsome Collection, and Perception. At this belief, we are problem solvers. First and foremost, we like to dive in to figure out the reasons something is not working before fixing it.
We take pride in solving problems others cannot. We value a sensible work-life balance and work environment. We work with leading-edge technologies to make them perform at the top of their capabilities. Currently, we are looking for a junior programmer. This opportunity is for a full-time position in Chicago. I am junior programmers at this belief are called on to develop and debug in a variety of areas from gameplay to car engine programming. You are expected to learn new systems and projects as you grow as a developer. With support and training from more senior members of the team.